getting down. I well, not having had enough wine, but watch me. Oh shit, let's pour some shots in. Let's get this show going. I'll turn up. You guys don't know. I'm gonna need a ride home. Hey, welcome to the recipe. I am your host, Joshua Scott, and with me as always, Mona Lisa. Hey. How's your guys' week been? What's going on? Honestly, my week's been pretty fucked up, but you know, I don't really want to fucking get into that shit. That's why we're here, huh? That's why we're here, because the week is fucked here. up. I had my daughter, and that was the best part of it, man. My oh, kids have been man. sick for like 10 days, but they're finally getting past it. You got the Roni? Yeah. I'm protecting my energy, trying to keep the peace. Yeah. I don't want no enemies. I don't want no beef. Yeah. Come and shoot the shit with me, we can get too deep, yeah. Cooking up a recipe, making sure you eat, yeah. I don't wanna waste no time. Yeah. I can tell you pussy boys behind. Yeah. You can never let me up my ground. Yeah. I already made my mind. Mm -hmm. I am making steak sandwiches. All right. I'm making red meat. I thought you don't fuck with red meat. I'm making red meat tonight. Josh it's is a fish filet ass show. You know what I mean? They said one of those for all you pescatarians. Pescatarians? Pescapalians. Pescapalians? Whatever. <laughs> anyway. Is it a, pes is it a, it's a religion or I don't know, a all preference? All you fish people. What is that? All you mermaids. It's it's anyways, all you mermaids. It's out a there. sexual preference. I'm, I personally, I'm a, I'm a vegetarian. I don't fuck with meat. <laughs> but in our reality, damn, bro, you gonna let that shit get that hot? No, I turned it down. All right, yelling at me, man. No, I just I wanted to heat it up, but I'll bring it down a little bit. Get that medium; it's already hot, but. The steak is almost the same as when I made those sandwiches. Fuck, I put too much. And in. by the way, for any of you guys who don't know us or our circle personally, like a lot of us don't fuck with red meat. A lot of our, even like outside of the show, our circle doesn't typically fuck with red meat, but you do. Well, I'm assuming some of you do, but. Well, so the reason that I'm making this is I don't like red meat. But when I do want right. to get, you know what I mean? I mean, of course, you, you had beef jerky today. You ate, like, I had a beef, half jerky a pound of beef jerky today, man. Today. That's what you have for lunch. That's what Big I have jerky. for lunch. Jerky. <laughs> a pound and a half. Dog. Of the that was the pizza. best. I don't remember the guy's <laughs> name. Hey, next time, next time we do this show, I am gonna say the guy's name whose beef jerky we I, I ate. It was a fucking teriyaki red chili powder beef jerky. And it was the best beef jerky I've ever had. I know the fucking flavor sounds ridiculous. No, but it gives you that sweet and that heat. At yeah, the, the sweet and the sweet heat. And the heat. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. And it's cut super thin like a fucking chip. That's why bitches love me. That's why bitches love sweet me. Sweet and the heat. Why? Because it's cut. <laughs> and he's cut thin. <laughs> and he's cut thin. <laughs> Circumcised. Wow. Oh, oh. Hey, For anybody who doesn't know about smoke detectors, there's a button on every smoke detector to deactivate the sound from going off. Yeah, what? that's why we did that. It you was know just, what I do? For example, <laughs> I pull that out went a over there? stool and I rip the batteries out that bitch and I pull and it And that's all I saw with this. You I just know. press the button and it stops. You know me that's very well. I'm so what if you unnecessary can't reach the as a person. <laughs> if you can't reach the button, you're a little bitch. <laughs> I can reach the button. Don't be a little bitch. <laughs> but you know, I've, I've changed my diet a lot through the last couple of years, and red meat is something that I, that I take out. It's something that I enjoy to eat, but it's something that I, I, I take out for digestion and stuff. It's not, yeah, it's I don't fuck with it for a lot of reasons. And honestly, I, I, like, I like hanging out with Josh a lot, and you a lot, because there's so many other options that I never really tried until I got together with you guys. No, it's true, man. Like, a lot of shit probably tastes good. Like, I've probably never eaten, like, a lot of... Ah. Yeah, there we go again, yeah. ha, ha. Take three. With me as always. <laughs> It'll be the outtakes. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you making today? So what are you making? Hey, so what's the name of the show? Yeah. Welcome to the. Never mind. 
I have a question for you guys. For who? For oh, everyone. All right. What's the most fucked up shit a, a girl has made for you? Or that they uh, fucked up the worst? Uh, uh, I gotta hear, we gotta hear this story, story cause I know that for me personally, <laughs> there's some doozies. <laughs> there's some doozers. I don't know what y'all know about me, but I come from... White people? Section 8 housing type oh. shit. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch is... I know that cook. <laughs> That's I come like, from white and a, a... I come from a poor a white family. <laughs> Very poor, to where I went to people who are on Section 8 to go eat at their crib because they had extra yeah, dough. So what is it? What was the worst? What was the worst? Shit, bro. I mean, that's a tough one, man. Because there's basic, and then there's bad. Like you, you know never I mean? had, you never had like. You ever been to? You ever been to like multiple bitches' houses and they all cook the same shit for you? <laughs> 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 because that's all they. No, that's from El Paso we, shit. We come from a long line. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. What was that dish? What was it? Chicken Alfredo. Oh shit! <laughs> or that's a green bag. chili chicken enchiladas. Don't fucking hit me up, or don't ever. That's, that's not true. the way you pick up, man. Green chili no, chicken not enchiladas. True. Yeah. Oh, I make some green. Get the fuck out of yeah, here. Get Everybody out of makes here. green chili chicken. But enchiladas. if you kill the green chili enchiladas, man, that might be in. I kill them. I ain't trying to like, fuck yeah, you. That's bro. what everybody says. That's the thing. I ain't trying to fuck you, though. That's I ain't trying to fuck you. I ain't gonna hit <laughs> you up. You ain't gonna be my hotline bling. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, so why do you think so good for us? What do you, is there an ill intent in this? Nah, well, fuck? I mean, I'm trying to get in good graces. You guys pick on me all the fucking time. Well, I mean, yeah. I'm just trying to impress my friends. Don't try. Yeah. Don't try so hard, Josh. Yeah, Josh, you try. You're Don't doing try so much. hard. You're doing too Being you much. will doing impress the most. us. I know. Be you. you There's, a reason. There's a reason that... All these celebrities and every person that's successful, the th their up. words of encouragement are to be you. And that's what will get you through all of the stupid shit. When you put on a front, you'll never get through that shit. You're never, you're always gonna be this fake character. You know, when I was rapping initially, Adam taught me about a rapper voice that I didn't even know that existed until I got back in there and he's like, that's not how you talk, bro. And it's the same thing. I don't believe you. That's what I, it don't comes down to. Well, that, I don't believe that, that's you. Well, that's one thing that him and it's I. It's a level of authenticity, man, and that's that that's yeah. what I think people mean when they say uh, when they say they like shit's whack. When shit's whack, like I just don't believe him. Like I don't believe you. I don't really fuck with Russ, cause I don't believe him. I'm sorry, guys. I don't. Hey, Russ, if you want the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> run up, I bro. I fuck with you, Russ, but if you want the smoke, <laughs> run up, bro. In every aspect, I fuck with Russ, dog. I fuck with him. Well, what do you mean in every aspect? Like musically? <laughs> I fuck with him musically. I fuck with him musically, bro. I think he writes great, oh, he, great he's songs, He's a good producer, dog. engineer, uh -huh. blah. It's just, a, it's just like certain shit don't add up for me, bro. Like it's like it's kind of like uh, like he go on these interviews and shit, and he's talking about how how certain people, uh, like it's almost like he has a chip on his shoulder. Like when he was on Dream Champs, he, he was talking about how, you know, he was getting upset that people like glorify drug usage as if he's some fucking like, like preaching some knowledge or some shit. Russ ain't no conscious rapper, bro. And I don't, and I, not to hate on his music, cause like by all means, do, do you bro. like. Your music, your content, I fuck with it, all that shit. But don't go on these interviews like you're some fucking like super gaudy dude. Like you ain't, you ain't, you ain't saying much either, bro. Like I have too many fuck dog. Like this is on some real shit, bro. I've I've have way too many fucking people making money. Off, I have way too many friends making money off fiends, and I ain't gonna say their fucking names to be out here saying. Don't glorify drugs. That's not my battle, bro, to fight. I ain't gonna say do it. I ain't gonna say don't do it. But that's part of some people's fucking lifestyle is doing drugs because their environment. Our whole situation as artists, we express. So if doing drugs is part of our lifestyle, then we talk about it. It's not a matter of glorifying it. You, the consumer, glorify it. And you give in to that. I think bottom line is people don't need to be taking entertainment so fucking literal to where they, when they start doing lean and shit, they're like, 
oh, well, I listen to Lil Wayne. Who the fuck cares, bro? He, Lil Wayne wasn't with you doing lean. And you know what? One of the, and excuse yeah, me for interrupting, mm. but one of the things that, that that I think about that is it's not glorifying when the, when a lot of these artists talk about doing those drugs and things like that. It's not them glorifying the drug use or the drug sale or the this and that. It's all some of us know. It's part of our culture, You know what I mean? Bro. That's growing all some up, of us know. Dog, like, it, it was part of you know what I mean? growing up where I grew up. So that's all I know to talk about. Right. If I was doing stocks and bonds for fucking 15 years, that's then what you think I'm right. writing music about. Right, bro, you know exactly, bro. Music, music is re relative things. So when you hear music talking about drugs, a lot of us do drugs. And, and, and whatever aspect that is. You do drugs? Yeah, I, do. I don't do drugs. I, 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 still, I still relate to these things because either I was in that part of my life where I was overindulged or I still recreationally do things. And music, what does music talk about? Like how many subjects can we really talk about that music covers? Like sex, violence. Pussy never goes out of style. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, drugs. Uh, Let's be honest. No, feelings. Like there's, there's only so many things that you can go through unless it's a specific right. story that brings that up you don't another relate point. To. that brings up another point though too bro like and i don't want to be so surface level on this shit we're gonna get into the type of drugs that you're into bro because at, at this on the same fucking note bro like what the fuck do some of you politi fake politically correct people want us to be making music about really you want us to be going and making yeah, music about shit. fucking just i wake up and drink my coffee go to work. and fucking go to work. <laughs> like, how many songs could be about that shit? I so got a song about that. Whenever, me. when I, when, when I, I mean, they call, sometimes it calls for that kind of music. But at the same fucking time, the times that I need music, the times that I need music is at my fucking low. It's whenever I have some fucking, some problems in front of me, some real issues in front of me. And some of that shit is talking about real fucking toxic shit, but it's real fucking relatable. But at the same time, drug, drug usage, drug selling, it's what we grew up doing. It's what we grew up knowing. So keep making that music, because I love that. Keep music. making that keep shit. Making that drug don't music. let these I'll motherfuckers that. shame you don't on what kind of music you should be fucking no, yeah, making don't tell and them shit. how to be you. Right. At all. No. Nah. If that's part of your if that's part of your truth, speak your fucking truth. If you're out here talking about drug usage and shit like that, and that really was never part of your lifestyle, you're on well, think of it like you're on Wikipedia trying to Google the culture and shit. <laughs> shut the fuck up then. Just shut up because that is not your truth. Well, obviously I cook. Right. I don't have a drug addiction. You know what I mean? But when when it comes to a, a time that I that I trouble with and we'll jump back on, you know what I mean? You said that you listen to music at certain times when you're upset and you want to catch it. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Um, well, I listen to music just to be motivated. You know what I mean? I listen to you know Same. I listen to yeah. different music. My yeah. my music is not nothing like right. what I'm going through. You're I listen to a, you to listen to music on a yeah, superficial on a, level to where like superficial you're, looking a you're looking for a vibe. You're looking for a vibe. You just you listen for the vibe. That's what I'm looking and for. And some people That's just it. look for the you know vibe, I mean? you know. But I, for when me, it comes I'm back to the drug use, so it's different. you know what I mean? Right. We, we we can't go ahead and do that because I can't say that I'm better than anybody. I started stuffing my fucking feelings. You know what I mean? That's how I kind of learned how to cook. Uh, I ate. So you're you know saying, what I mean? Yes, it was yes. like, yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill some time. I work out too. So you're saying that food is almost a drug. Food can be a drug. You can't be a. That's a whole nother fucking. That's yeah, a whole nother topic. Their you know what I mean? Because it's like. Let's be honest about so, it. So we're talking about drugs. What the fuck is a drug? You know what I mean? You, it's you'd like. Be surprised what a drug. Could a, be. Drug, a drug could be from. fucking anything, anyway, bro. Like, honestly, man. If you're in a fucked up situation, man, like, and all you can relate to is this shit that these motherfuckers are talking about, that's between you and that fucking song. That's between you and, and whatever you're going through and with that song that you're relating oh to in that moment, man. I, honestly, for me personally, I listen to music for a whole lot of different reasons. But at the same time, like, I definitely know that on a global scale, we listen to music that we could fucking that we could relate to, and sometimes we need that music to get us through some of our darkest times. So we ain't out here doing drugs. For some of us, yeah. some of us we we listen to that music to do drugs too. Some of the some of the music we listen to, but bro, if I'm doing drugs and I ain't affecting you, then just leave me the just fuck leave alone. Me, leave me the fuck alone. Like oh, leave cheers. me alone. Cheers. Do my drugs. Leave cheers, me the bro. fuck alone. All right. 
See, that's teamwork, bro. That's all love. You. I saw it. Bro. I saw it. You needed that. Check this out, though. I just salt and peppered it. Okay. Nothing else. Nothing else. I saw it. Nothing else. I seen it. That's just salt and pepper. You don't need to do this. A steak. You pay extra for that steak to not have to throw fucking. Lowry's on it or throw right. the fucking garlic salt on it. See, I don't know shit about me, but I do extra. know that. You I do know that much, that bro. Shit to not have to fucking no, season that shit up. You know what I mean? That and that's why you don't have to fucking fact, give it bro. too much, man. You give it just salt and pepper. I'm about to throw these bitches on Yo. right now. You boys excited? I'm excited. I'm excited. I want to know something, though, bro. I'm fucking excited, What too. kind of cut is this meat? Do you know? Oh, that's the ribeye. That's a ribeye, okay. That's a ribeye, right? So I don't there. know shit that's about no cut. Yeah, it's pretty thick. So my it's my diet is plant based. I eat meat sometimes, but I mainly stick to plants. I oh, like to eat plants. Nice pieces that are right under here, bro. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a like part of the love handles. Okay. You know what so I mean? That's you get some love right handles. There. That's why you get the little fatty that's in the it. the little love handles right okay. there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, you guys. Who wants to throw one on? Premium content. <laughs> <laughs> is this on a medium heat or what is this? Yeah, on? this is on medium. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Watch your motherfucking hand, boy. <laughs> Watch your motherfucking hand. Fucking coronavirus. Just leave that shit alone for a second because you want that sear to hit. You want that sear on the bottom? So, how do you know when to flip, though? <laughs> when we're looking at it, you watch it cook. Okay, so, so what do you, you mean? Watch by that shit cook. Mark, can you come here real quick? So that'll be your way, your waypoint. So this is steak. I don't like my steak medium. I like my medium Cooked. rare. Okay. I like okay. my. If it, I'm cooking for y'all, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna cook medium rare. You know what I mean? If it was me, I want that shit to kick me when I bite into it because you get all that flavor. That, that's my brother. You know what I my mean? My brother loves that I shit. I want that shit to fucking. He flip it right now. Boom. Be done in really? the yeah. yeah, that flavor <laughs> that's in it, bro, is is crazy. But I don't eat steak by itself like that. I won't eat a fucking, I won't get a steak with a baked potato and another, you know, no, fuck no. It's just the steak? This is what I do. I'm gonna chop it up in this bread. I'm gonna put a fucking uh, uh, a red wine grape jelly on, on the one end. I'm gonna put the uh, um, the uh, pickled bell peppers and chili peppers on the other end. Did you make that shit? This is me. You made you made this, this shit? Right? So, so how did, you, how, how right did you make this? So, yeah, fuck yeah. Check this out, this is just pickled bell peppers. Throw it in the vinegar, let it sit. Pickled bell peppers and chili peppers. Red chili peppers. And let that shit sit. A little cauliflower, little jalapenos. Let that shit chill in the fucking Check vinegar. Check this one out right this here. This right here, this is a grape jelly. That's a Concord grape jelly right there and I throw the red wine in it. When, you, when you're at a vineyard, that uh, uh, the, the slush, at the, it's like grape motor oil at the bottom of the barrels. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's what you want to use. If you can get your hands on that. At a vineyard? Fuck with me, call me. Give me, a, I'll send you my email, all that shit. Let me know. If you can get that shit and send it to me in a jar, let me know. But I can't get that fucking great Where do you get oil. Like, what is it California, called? I'm sure you can get it what in California. What is it called, do you know? I don't know what it's called. Bottom of the barrel mm. jelly. It's like bottom of the wine barrel. So when barrel. it comes to wine, you want From bottom the of the barrel. So what I do is I <laughs> Not take with Concord grape drugs. jelly and I throw a little red wine in it. <clears throat> Not it. Is that, but the, is that the name of the next album? Bottom mm. of the barrel. Bottom of the barrel, right there. <laughs> the tell you what, can you do me a little solid? Yeah. Who wants to put some more jelly in that for me? This is it. I got this shit. You get this from the farmers market. Get that local shit. It also helps with allergies. Really? Oh, you can go sick. local. So. My guy. My guy. Anything sick. that's local, honey. See, I knew I liked grape you jelly, a little bit. All that shit. It also helps with allergies. We went to San Diego. And, and San Francisco, those are the two places that we've been to vineyards in California, and both of them are just... So we just went to Monterey together, right? The three of us to watch these, these right. uh, rap battles. And in California, which is just unknown to us, because in New Mexico, things are just different. It's desert land. It's, and, desert. It's, it's beautiful, but it's mountain. It's mountain kind of land. Beautiful in its own way, guys. So in California, though, like those that are unfamiliar... <laughs> so, hey, so we've been doing that shit for a couple of weeks. We did it. We were in uh, Monterey. That shit was stupid. But sucks. I mean, so, so, so the rolling hills that we drove through. <laughs> the rolling hills that we that we went through. How beautiful was that shit? 
gorgeous. But, Dude, but, I want to hey, live there, man. But, but, oh, imagine, so bad. But imagine going. This shit is so but imagine pretty. going and having a wine tasting, like at the top of that hill, with like just rows of, of grapes and no one out there. That's gorgeous, bro. That's that sounds what it is, amazing. Bro. That's, That's paradise. What it is. That sounds like heaven to me, bro. Straight up. It's heaven. Straight up. Shout out California. Let's get your hands dirty. I'm just whoa. Oh. Hey. hey. <laughs> What's up? Do we talk about politics? <laughs> we, we talk about whatever the fuck I'm we want. Fuck Joshua my money on Donald Trump, bro. bro. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not the biggest, like most political. Bro, that's all I sit there and watch. I watch. That's all I sit there and watch. No. Oh. Pretty much. You said. You said you watch cartoons. And, and, and fucking, and, and Yo, you're gonna hear this dude say that about like ten different things. No. Yo, all I do is serial watch Tosh.0. So, so I've, I've, all I've I do is watch. So check this out. I've all I do is watch my message. I've transferred. <laughs> all I do is watch <laughs> porno. <laughs> well, I gotta fill it in somewhere. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I started doing the uh, Donald Trump, the fucking speeches from everybody though. What, Caitlyn got you off the, the serial killer? No, jazz? I had to stop fucking with Caitlyn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on probation. He's on probation. Check on this his out. Bullshit. You tripped out. Check this out. So check this out. I went to go check in with my PO the other day, right? I roll in. Nah, you can leave this shit. I go to check in with my PO the other day, right? And I roll up and I'm like, when do I get off? She's like, you've been off for a month. I'm like, what am I doing here? Did you ask her someone to like get off? Like, like, did you, well, well, what's up? Tell us about your PO. No, PO don't tell body. us about your PO. Your PO's body. <laughs> Just keep cooking, man. Just keep cooking, bro. Thick old white girl, fully tattooed. I know, I seen her. She's a baddie, yo. At her. <laughs> I got her Instagram. What's up? <laughs> don't do that. We're don't do on that. Right okay. now, those are all I'm the not giving you my probation officers Instagram. Don't do that. All right, let me cut Santa these Garcia. lines. It'll be in the comments. <laughs> I saw a meme the other day that this girl was sick and she said, I'm so tired of throwing up blood. First comment was in throat crypt. One throat crypt. <laughs> <laughs> so what is that, time or basil? Time, I got time. He's got yeah, time got in time, his hands. Time. He's holding time in his hands. Disrespecting me, cuz. You disrespect my hub, but today I got time, cuz. A little bit of that, and then put that on that side. Here, there, I'll get that piece. You could cook with this still. I don't do wash my hands when I'm cooking for just me. <laughs> <laughs> I kiss after a blow jay. That's a weird ass statement. You know what, I mean? what the fuck's a blow jay? A blow jay. You know what a blow jay is. I don't think any of us do it. Tell us. I like a blow jay. Unpack. <laughs> what are you doing right now? You're just throwing the juice yeah. on top well, of it butter. for no reason. So the butter's going to cook above it and still seep through these cracks of the meat. Okay. So you want all this to go through. Mmm. All that's gonna come straight through there, bro, and it's gonna cook all the way to the center, and this one's just about done. All right, and what the fuck's up with these? Yeah, they haven't been flipped yet. Those are cooking. And you're cooking to medium? Or medium rare, you said, right? Watch this. This no, one's cooking a little, this one. one's a little, cooking a little slower for, for whatever reason. Well, because there's two in there, bro, and I tried to fucking not make everybody wait for food. <laughs> you want to turn up the heat on this one a, a little bit? Yeah, please. Just a, a lot, little, a lot okay, bit. a lot of bit. Just yeah, to get that sir, a little bit of a sir. They're learning with us, bro. We're cooks, not chefs. Yeah. Let's get that fucking right. Let's get that right. Cooks, not chefs. You know, I feel like I'm drunk. Get it in. You don't <laughs> ever get drunk. You're disgusting. If you kiss me, you're you immune to the coronavirus. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But you probably have a nasty like, ass. <laughs> <laughs> but you have something way worse. Oh, that's pretty, bro. That is pretty. Yeah, let's get this one a little bit right there. Placement. There, get it a little more seared. <clears throat> okay, now it's looking like a steak. Oh, we cook it, bro. So we played this game at my work today where. Everyone submitted their baby game. pick. And you had to guess whose baby pick it was. And I realized, like, there's some ugly fucking babies, bro. Oh, like, babies are ugly, ugly ass babies. I you do know? not think babies are cute. They all look the same to me. For some, at least nah, I told, I, Isn't that weird to say? That, that's what I think they all look the same. All white babies look the same. All white babies okay, probably look the same. Here, watch here. All white people look the you same to me. You see what you did there? <laughs> yeah. Those, that's, 
You're from El Paso. You're different. It's not you're racist. No, that's not different. You're, you you were born at Chico's Tacos, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Josh got all the salt. <coughs> oh, fuck so, salt, bitch. My boss told me that when you see a baby and it's ugly, instead of being like, you know, oh, that's a cute baby and lying, just all you got to say is, that's a baby. Hey. <laughs> that's a baby. Hey, that's a, yeah, you that's guys had one of those, huh? <laughs> there you go. Hey, you know what sucks? You got to feed it now. <laughs> no, you don't. So what happened in your life that made you want to cook, bro? What was, a, what was a point where you were like, I fucking like cooking? What did it for you? Well, my mom always cooked, man. That was it. She was Shaq? <laughs> not Kobe. Honestly. Not Kobe? Jail. He's on jail food sucked, so I was just like, fuck that shit. King of the ramen noodle, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, for real. I'll make tamales, pizzas. I'll make fucking, I'll make a hot pocket out of a ramen noodle pack. Bro, blow your fucking mind. You'll fuck a hot pocket. But uh, what made you get into cooking? <laughs> what did you just say? You'll make a what out of what? I'll make anything you want out of a ramen noodle. Oh! oh. Oh! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! That is fucking good, bro. That's a steak. That is fire. So no, you guys don't know. That shit is good. You guys don't even know. It's going to oh. get way better. Hey, push-ups or what? Man, that's how excited I am right now. <laughs> Josh, too. <laughs> she said, oh, shit. Push-ups, bro. For what? I thought you were supposed to eat that. Yeah, we all got to do 20, guys. You guys can do it when I'm done, because I'm real big. Chop little on those buttons. Let's squeeze in. He's my friend and my mic's on, and I just want you guys to know that I hate the shit out of you. But, hey, he doesn't want you to know that he has his knees on the ground. I hate seeing a motherfucker come out of the shitting stall, and they don't wash their fucking hands. Yeah. Oh, you nasty motherfuckers, bro. I, I see know, you. Notice you. I see you. That hey, and even if you go wash your hands and you just throw it under, you you th you do some soap and you just fucking let the water just push the soap right off your hands. Don't do that shit. Wash your hands. Look at it as luxurious. It's a little mini hand bath. What made you start cooking? Um, some chick I used to date, bro. She was actually vegetarian. Best cook I knew. She cooked Thai food, Vietnamese food, East Indian food, bro. And bro, and food never tasted better to me. She baked vegetarian, and instead of cooking with eggs, she used either mashed bananas, which gave it more flavor than eggs, or applesauce, which gave it more flavor than eggs. So it was cool. better than with eggs. Like, vegan baking is better than not vegan bacon. What is this uh, shit? A pan with oil. Guys, if you could get a close-up of this, Mark, this is, uh, I found this on the steak. Mm -hmm. This is one of Josh's no, cubic like hairs. No, like a pot. Oh, it's not a pot. See that? Whoa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> Maybe it's small. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I can Thick. put a few of them in there. I don't want to put Spicy. Too <laughs> I bought a treadmill recently, boys. No, I'm I jelly. know, I tried to fucking fit in my car for about fucking two hours. <laughs> This shit was crazy, bro. Adam, Adam bought a display treadmill and thought it was gonna fit the backseat of his fucking Impala, bro. <laughs> he knew Adam, that shit was hey, gonna hey. It was just like, no, no, I did it. Oh, no, I did it. That shit was I swear to God, it was gonna fit. I swear to God, it was gonna fit, yo. This motherfucker got a little. It's not a 64 Impala. I'm gonna put it on the And I said, I'm gonna put the seats down. Since this treadmill folds up, it's gonna slide right in. jelly on the fucking steak sandwiches. Watch me work. Okay. Don't yell same. at me. This Two shit pounds. looks so good, bro. That's like, gonna be amazing. this shit. So, like, how do you get, like, that attitude sometimes? points <laughs> 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 that. How do you get, like, an attitude with everything you fucking do? You're just, like, mad. You're bitter. Fuck those guys. Tune in to... <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> That sounds straight up fucking... What kind of bread is this? Sourdough? This is the uh, sourdough. No, that's shit. So, so how did you prep the bread, though? Did you, did you bake it for a little yeah. bit? Yeah. 
store bought, you just store bought, ready to bake. Not that fresh shit out the garden. No, nah, you get the ones that you throw in. It's still not all the way cooked, and you throw it to cook it enough yourself. Follow me. So I'm gonna throw this right on the top right here. I need little slices of that, and that's gonna cut all the way in there. Watch this. And this, that mortar oil. No, I'm telling you. That's what this is. Mm. And how'd you make that? Other side, this is uh, red wine and grape jelly. I don't know if we got that slow mo cut or that, but that's what we yeah. did. Or that's what he did. You're tripping. You're like, why are you putting grape jelly on a steak sandwich? Because fuck you, that's why. Let me get, let me get crazy. Take it, partner. I'm taking it. Twist the dick! Oh, yeah. The old dick twist. <laughs> the old dick twist. Daddy. Try that. Too. Damn, just the spices smell so nice right now. You want to see this for a minute? Fucking looks pretty good to me. Oh. We're going to go to break, come back, have some dinner with you guys. We're going to give this to the ladies that help put the show together. So yeah, instead of regular water, I use sparkling water. It makes it a little fluffier. You give it that um, uh, the carbonation in it, a lot more fluffy. Ooh, mm. That's a cool trick, man. And give it that crisp. That's the sparkling water right there. Mm-hmm. Change your mind. No, it is fluffier. Life. So, who are these new Drake tracks? Bro, I have. Drake is the greatest, bro. I'm zooming on this, man. Drake is a goat, bro. <laughs> that's in my. That's not only on my phone. That's in his heart. It's in my it's heart. heart. <laughs> it's hard to see. Oh, wait, here we are. It's also tatted on my lower back. <laughs> yeah, the Drake. Drake trash tab. <laughs> <laughs> it says Drizzy. It says Aubrey. <laughs> 
Hungry. Hungry Grim. Mm. Oh. That is so good, bro. Amazing. But you know, with these songs, there's so many people that get upset with, like, him using, like, Eminem's cadence at the end and using his words for Superman. People need to shut the fuck up. In my opinion. In my understanding. That's just bigging up the homie. But why? Mm -hmm. Why did I was bigging up a god. That's what that is. Why do they need to shut the fuck up? <laughs> why do they need to shut the fuck up? They need to shut the fuck up because, because I said so. <laughs> no. Because words aren't original, bro. Like, it's like this food, right? If I take a bite of this food right here, and it's fucking delicious, am I in my head thinking, did only one person cook this shit? I don't give a fuck if, it, if it's a bop, it's a bop. Now if I got my groove to this song, and I get my groove to this song, I don't give a fuck who it is. I just search Drake, and I know I can find some good shit because that's a good brand. Period. I don't care how many people are part of that Drake team. Yo, keep doing what you guys are doing. I'm here for it. Take my fucking money. And that's why people need to shut the fuck up. Because if you don't like it, then put your energy into some shit you like. You know? It's counterproductive to give all your energy to shit you hate. You know what I put my energy in? Food. This shit is amazing. This shit is good. As it sits, and the jelly kind of makes the bread soggy. Look at it. That makes it even it's better. still easy to handle. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And this girl, she like, trying to make up to me because I was upset at her. She cooks this big extravagant meal. She never really cooked for me before, so I'm like, I'm still pissed. I'm not, I'm not ready to be over her, over a fight, over this fight. I ain't ready to get over it yet. And she hands me this plate with a piece of fucking chicken on it, covered in red sauce. And I'm thinking, is this poison? Gotta be red chili, right? I had, I thought it was. I thought it was red chili. I bite into it and then some Parmesan, some. The wackest what chicken done. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Uh, it has some sauce, tomato sauce on it. It didn't have Parmesan on it. That's why I assumed it wasn't chicken Parmesan. I thought it was red chili because it was just the red sauce. I bought into the shit and it's like, almost like a mix between like barbecue sauce and marinara, bro. And I should have told her. What? Doug, she goes, do you like it? I said, I don't want this shit. <laughs> that escalated the, I was already pissed off. She, she was making up. this shit for me to make up to me, dog. And I said, and that pissed me off even more. She offended me. With that being I said, you yeah. wasn't even trying to get laid that night. No, you know I mean? I'm going to go jump out of the car. Well, I'm done. <laughs> like I always do. I think that's it. Well, farewell, oh, guys. Thank you for joining us. This was I'm gonna uh, take a shit. another great night of the recipe. <laughs> Love you guys.